Hey everyone, it's Josh, KI6NAZ. We just got off of the mountaintop doing a wonderful soda activation with a great group of people that came in from uh, out of state, from all over the country basically, and we all met on the top of Pacifico Mounted. If you're interested in seeing that video, I'll post a link in the description. But I thought, what a great opportunity to explain what soda is in about a minute. So without further ado, Let's kick it off. And oh, by the way, all links for websites I reference or rules or some great recommendations on channels you should check out that cover soda in more detail, if this sounds interesting to you, will be in the description. Summits on the air or soda in about a minute. Let's go. Soda is a ham radio activity where you take your radio to a peak. Peaks are identified on a website called sodamaps.org, and activating is as simple as taking out your radio that is running off of batteries or solar and making four contacts. You get points based off of how tall that mountain is. Again, go to sodamaps.org. People following you or, or trying to chase you also get points if they can make a successful cue. So it doesn't matter how tall the mountain is or how easy it is to get to the summit, but you must carry your radio to the activation point and set up and run when you are the activator. All the points for activating the summit add up and you get awards like a thousand points for an activator becomes a mountain goat and somebody that's in the shack as a chaser gets to a thousand points, they become a shack sloth. Generally, activators use QRP radios because they're lightweight and easy to haul around. I myself use a Elecraft KX2. A lot of other people use KX3s and Yaesu 817s, for example. Soda is an activity where you can self spot or tell people where you're at. We use a website called sodawatch.org. I also use a phone app called Soda Goat, and you can also use APRS. Before you go out and activate a summit, please uh, make sure it's within your physical ability. Make sure to carry lots of water, understand your gear, and do it safely, please. So again, that is uh, Summits on the Air Soda in about a minute. All the links will be in the description for the websites I mentioned. There is a lot more to Soda, but uh, that hopefully will get your... Uh, mind thinking about maybe local mountains in your area or maybe you'll pull up sodamaps.org and you'll look for something local to you and it's a lot of fun even if you fail it's a lot of fun because you still are getting out there getting some activity which is really good as a ham radio operator myself i'm uh, i live a sedentary lifestyle most of the time but i like to get out there get outdoors and, and have some fun with it i think soda is a great activity in amateur radio that uh, strengthens it and builds a strong community. Uh, for example, there are a lot of soda activators that are on Twitter. And they're very helpful to each other, very supportive. It's a great aspect of Twitter, or the Twitter ham as I like to call it. So if you're thinking about it, you can check out some of my videos, many other videos that I'll post in the description. And yeah, any questions, please post them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. All right, I'll talk to you later. See ya.